السلام علیکم شایسته ورز نده چوغه که اوره های such a beautiful day the birds agree can you hear them i'm miriam and this is afghan cooks today i'm going to do something that is not entirely afghan i think it was a viral tiktok maybe a while ago um, but i am old so it takes me a few minutes to catch up it's an interesting way to make a wrap. Now, one of the things I was trying to figure out is how do I make this afghan? All you need is some flour tortillas. I've got La Benderita here. These are my favorite brands. We're gonna do, we're gonna do three different ones. We're gonna do a vegetarian version. We're gonna do a meat version. And then we're gonna do a dessert. So, let's start with a vegetarian version. What I have here is some grilled eggplant and all I did was I sliced up the eggplant, I threw some salt on them, stuck them in a colander and let all the water drain out of them for about an hour, patted them dry, stuck them under the broiler after I sprayed a bunch of cooking spray on them. It takes about five minutes, don't walk away. Grilled eggplant, I have some chopped green onion and some sliced tomatoes garlicky Afghan yogurt sauce. And my thought on this was it would be a sort of quicker, easier way of doing the, the Afghan yogurt dip. You would just do it in a wrap this way. Okay, so I'm gonna heat the wrap up first. I'm just gonna warm up the wrap just a little bit. I don't want it to get too warm because I don't want it to stiffen up, but I don't want it to be cold either. If you don't have asbestos fingers, you can obviously, you don't have to flip it with your hands. And then what you do is you take a knife and you just cut it so that you got, I don't know why anybody didn't think of this before. It's freaking genius. We're sitting there trying to wrap under the ends and do all this crazy stuff. It's, it's genius. So in one of these quadrants, I'm gonna throw some of this eggplant. I'm not gonna throw, I'm gonna place it very gently. In the other one, I'm gonna put chopped onions. Stay in the quadrant. Stay in the, stay. Then some tomato. And then over here, I'm gonna put the garlic yogurt sauce. Now I don't have any salt or anything on any of the vegetables because you know, the garlic yogurt sauce has all the good stuff already. So now what you do is you just fold it fold it and fold it Yay! how cool is that how cool is that let's see what this looks like if we grill it up my gosh who is the first person who thought of this and why do they not get a nobel prize i mean honestly these people who do these like viral hacks or whatever they deserve more credit than we give them i don't know who the first person was who did this but Whoever it was, thank you. Seriously, thank you. If you didn't go and become an engineer or a doctor and you're foreign, you tell your parents. That's okay. Because I made the world a better place. Number two, get our tortilla. I made my slit. I made some ground lamb. It's kima, it's a, just a, a ground lamb mixture. Very typical. Afghan flavors. We've got ginger, garlic, onion, turmeric, coriander, cumin, paprika, oregano, and it's all cooked together. And then I add a little bit of water and let that sort of cook down a little bit. Feta cheese. Again, Afghans don't usually use um, a lot of cheese. We do use a, a something that's similar to paneer. And then I made a little tiny, tiny little chopped salad here. Just tomatoes, onions, lettuce and then my yogurt gar garlic sauce and again i didn't add any salt to this little chopped salad because there's salt in everything else including the feta the lamb and the yogurt sauce so this time we're going to do it differently so that the yogurt sauce doesn't drip out we're going to start though with the main ingredient here and so i thought just do it like this or maybe like a afghan sloppy joe we have our yogurt sauce and hopefully it'll work better here in the middle our cheese and then our chopped salad 
I have um, some sumac here and I'm gonna throw a little of that onto the area with the feta and the salad to give it a little more of that sour because lamb is very rich and very fatty so it's important that you incorporate things that are lighter and fresher and also sumac is delicious. I love this so much. I can't even believe how much I love it. When I think of cooking, I always think of my grandmother and I know I talk about her. Oops. I talk about her a lot because there's nothing that I make that I don't think of. How would she have made this? What would she have thought about it? I think she really would have enjoyed this a great deal. I think she would have made a different one for each of her grandkids, like whatever we liked. She would have said, you know, what do you want in it? And what do you want in it? And I think about my grandmother a lot. Um, when I'm making these videos and you know I think why didn't we do this with her because all we have is what we have in our in our minds when we remember her the other thing that I think we do a lot of is we say oh you're always behind the lens right you're you're taking pictures or you're taking video and you're not here in the moment our memories are funny things right like there's only so much room in your brain to hold on to things and when new things happen the old things kind of get pushed out for the new things and if you have photographs if you have videos if you have home movies if you're behind the camera it's not that you're missing it you're not you're missing it and you can hang on to it at the same time it's okay to be behind the camera and it's okay to take videos of your of your food and of things that are important to you and milestones or even just honestly ordinary everyday crap we're gonna go on to the third one now this third one i think is pretty interesting because i use a couple of different things um that I made here. I have here just some um, raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. I have had some sugar to them, but I also added this orange blossom water. See this capful? <laughs> I added a capful of this into this and I stirred it around. It's been sitting out for a couple of hours now. So they're pretty soft and juicy. I just crushed up in a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag, some walnut, almonds, and pistachios. And then here I have some pears, again, for some freshness and some crunch. And here I made this spread. And I love tahini. I absolutely adore it. And I took a can of sweetened condensed milk and I put it into a saucepan and I waited and stirred it until it got caramelized. So it became like a dolce de leche. And I mixed it with this tahini because you have that beautiful sesame tahini taste and that caramelized dolce de leche taste all just like, mm. And when I made the dolce de leche, um, I know that the tahini already has some salt in it, but I love this pink salt. I actually have it mixed in with some bigger rock salt so it adds like a different kind of saltiness to it so it's not as sweet and it really just highlights everything so I recommend Himalayan salt and it's supposed to be really good for you too and I have whipped cream and then I'm gonna have the yeah And there we go, we have appetizer, main course, and dessert, and we're done. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell. Also, leave a comment. I love the comments. Until next time, bye.